All new tonight, gypsy moths are not only stripping our trees of foliage, they're also causing skin rashes on those with sensitive skin. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan has more now from Colchester. If you've been outside in eastern Connecticut, you're likely to have picked up this little hitchhiker. It's a tiny gypsy moth in the caterpillar stage. In the past few weeks, people with sensitive skin who've come in contact with the gypsy moth caterpillar have developed allergic type reactions with a reddish rash or bumps. Being outside with the warm weather it is hard to avoid the gypsy moths after the rain we've had in the last two seasons. We've seen a lot of gypsy moths and they go in cycles. So this is a pretty heavy season for us. Dr. Simon says it's that high density of caterpillars you can't avoid them. You do get the rash when you come in contact with the hair on the caterpillar. And the hairs might have a histamine type reaction that they're causing, so you get hives and itching. Self-limited. The rashes develop on exposed skin, arms and hands, and the back of your neck. The doctors say they haven't gotten a lot of calls on these rashes, but they're mostly concentrated in the northeast part of Connecticut. The larvae and caterpillars will be around until July, so in the meantime, health experts say if you don't spray your trees, make sure you cover up your skin and use a hydrocortisone cream if you develop a rash. Or just taking over-the-counter antihistamines like Benadryl should take care of about 98% of them. Any rash, Dr. Seidemann says, could last two to three days. With the Mobile Newsroom in Colchester, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.